obviously, if you have bad credit and you have a startup, you have two things that are going against you, right? So you got to really uh, try to figure out the best strategy to get the business loan that you need for your startup, even if you have poor credit. And so this is what this conversation will be about. I want to show you a few hacks and the, the latest hacks that are really working like crazy. So you can get your cash real quick, no matter what, no matter what kind of credit you have. So here's the overview I really want you to pay attention to. So the big question is, can you get a startup business loan, let's say with a 500 credit score? That's a big question. The, the, the answer, the short answer is yes. Now the long answer is yes, but you might have to uh, have some skin in the game. You might have to pay a higher APR. You might have to actually uh, post collateral. You might have to do a couple of things. You might have to actually prepare a business plan. You might have to show uh, some uh, financial projections. The question is, are you willing to actually do those things? Because see, no bank or no lender for that matter is going to give you a money with, uh, to your startup with poor credit if you're not willing to have some skin in the game, boss. So my question to you is, have you thought about that? Have you, do you have a plan right now in terms of, do you have a business plan, boss? Talk to me. Again, I'm not talking about no sort of cheap ass business plan. I'm talking about a real business plan that you or somebody you have paid to, that you paid has written for you that clearly explains everything about the business. Okay. Obviously you have a startup. Is your business, is your startup legit? Have you filed the paperwork with the state authorities? Do you, if you have an LLC, do you have a certificate of good standing? Do you have a registered agent? Do you have a, like, you got to really do all those things, boss. Because see, you can't just take the excuse of, I'm, I'm having poor credit so I can qualify for a business loan. You don't qualify for a business loan because you don't learn the, the, the formula for success. Okay, because poor credit is just one thing, it's just one criteria, but there is a constellation of criteria that the lender is going to look at before approving or, deny, or denying your, uh, your, your business loan. By the way, boss, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here, and I love to have this kind of conversations all the time. Now, when we talk about a business loan for our startups, sometimes we hear people talk about guaranteed approval. Is that a myth or is that that's reality? That is neither. Okay, guaranteed approval is just what it is. There are some lenders that will guarantee approval for you, given uh, provided that you actually have have a compromise. And there are some lenders who don't want guaranteed approval. So it really depends on your on the kind of lender you you talk to. So let me give you a few pro tips here. If you really have a poor credit, right? And you are a startup, you are looking for a business loan, fast approval, massive amount. You got to really think about a few things. First of all, you need to understand what, what lenders are looking for. So when lenders look at the startup business loan applications, they are paying attention to a few things. First of all, how long have you been in business? Because, because simply because you're a startup doesn't mean you started yesterday or two days ago. You could still be a startup. You can be qualified as a startup if you started nine months ago. The, uh, the technical cutoff time is one year. So after one year, you consider like a, a new business or a small business. But before one year, before 18, before 12 to 18 months, you are still considered a startup. So how long have you been in business? And basically during that time, have you been able to establish business credit? Okay. Have you been able to establish? Because see, we all know that your personal credit is, is really toast. Like your personal credit is bad. Okay. But what about your business credit? Have you been able to uh, to register your account on Dun & Bradstreet? Have you have your Dun's number? Those are things that you really you need to think about. Not just Dun & Bradstreet. You got to do uh, Experian, uh, Experian business or, and also Equifax so that you can have your IntelliScore Plus score. You can have your, your Dun & Bradstreet payday score. Those are important elements. Okay. What about your revenue? Are you able to generate something at all? Like... Again, I just want to—I don't want you to take the excuse of, of poor credit as a, as a detrimental element that will actually just doom all your chances of getting a startup business loan. No, because you have poor credit. That's one thing. Now, I, I want—I want you to talk to me about the other things, all the other things that are really going in your favor right now. Are you generating revenue? Any kind of revenue. Talk to me about that, boss. Talk to me about your revenue. If you if you generate revenue, then this is really good. Okay. Now let me give you the approach I really want you to focus on. When we talk about poor credit, what is the cutoff here? Well, it, it really depends on who whom you you ask it. Some lenders will tell you, hey, listen, if you are around between five hundred and six hundred, we we think of you as poor credit. The uh, the SBA is actually is thinking that if you have poor credit, you are below 640, okay? The, the, the thing is, it's not really a matter of numbers at this point. You just know that you have poor credit if you are, let's just 
cut to the chase here. If you are below 580, you are poor credit, okay? Now, poor credit is, again, this is not a killer thing because you can you have other ways to actually uh, counter counter attack or counter offer or counter counteract the detrimental effect the potential detrimental effect that poor credit has on your startup loan application now let me give you the review here that you really need to think about when we talk about business loans for startups with poor credit the hacks i want to show you here is that you need to be clear about the kind of uh, lenders you are talking to okay again those lenders you might not like them but they are who they are and they are the, they are your only chance of having access to business credit okay you don't you're not going to find your 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 banks your regular banks you're not going to find your credit unions you're not going to find your even some of your online lenders they don't want to have none of that because they're thinking you are a startup you have poor credit there's two there's two negatives in uh, one application we don't want none of that okay so you probably have to talk to uh, hard money lenders yes hard money lenders could be uh, one of one of your uh, lifesavers here and the thing is that you know hard money lenders are not really that bad the only thing is they charge a lot of a lot of interest but hey listen this is this makes sense because they're trying to they need to cover their ass too okay because the risk is really high if you are a startup and you have bad credit the risk is really high so they are trying to make sure that they cover their ass you also need to think about net 30 vendors or net 45 vendors this is another source of uh, business financing especially if you have poor credit why because see lender uh, vendors net 30 vendors or net 45 vendors they have uh, a uh, I would say an incentive to do business with you because see by offering you credit they are actually making sales too the only thing is they just want to get paid right and but see when you're looking for a business loan and you can't get a, a five-year business loan or a three-year business loan sometimes it's just better to try a different strategy so instead of going for a third three years or, or five years or whatnot go for 30 days go for 45 days start small start slowly right so slow and steady always win the game start small slow and steady always win the race that is what i want to say here is that when we talk about hard money lenders vendor terms we also have to talk about to remember also online business lenders okay we also need to think about invoice factoring those those players are there they will work with you they want to make sure that you get the you, you get the, the the loans you need so what i'm trying to say here is that when you are looking for business loans for your startup and you have poor credit don't just focus on traditional business loans don't think about your regular installment business loan at your regular bank or at your local credit union i want you to cast a wider net to start looking at different types of business loans because because what you what you really care about is just cash you need cash that's all okay so think about think about invoice factoring think about think about the online business loans think about vendor terms think about hard money hard money lenders I want you to think also about business cash advance okay by the way boss let me quickly remind you today's topic we're having a conversation about business loans for startups with poor credit i'm sharing with you a few hacks that will help you get the loan that you need and deserve okay now what i want to say when we talk about business cash advance this is uh, an interchangeable term with uh, merchant cash advance so basically this is like you are usually uh, you're usually swapping your uh, electronic sales okay and uh, with uh, some cash advance so you get cash in advance but you have to actually swap you have to show the lender your electronic sales so this is kind of cool and uh, so the cost here is based on the factor rate not an interest rate so businesses that qualify may get approved for and funded in as little as one business day so you can see here that if you have a startup and you are able to generate uh, electronic sales electronic sales i'm talking about credit card sales or debit card sales okay and that's and you don't like your poor credit doesn't matter anymore because this is a, an asset based type of uh, financing okay so and you also want to want to think about micro loans even though those micro loans sometimes are really complicated but hey listen if you're able to go to kiva for example or you are able to get into action action a c c i o n the, into their network you might actually be able to to tap into uh non-for-profit sort of uh micro loans okay or you can try equipment financing for example okay you can also try crowdfunding so what I'm trying to say here is that there is a large constellation 
of uh, options when it comes to poor credit and for your startups. The bottom line here is that you need to think about three things. I want you to think about your geography. I want you to think about your sector. And I want you to think about your own startup goals. Okay, what is your geography? Where are you located at? Which state are you at? Which city are you at? What is the ecosystem there? What's the economy is there? Okay, we know nowadays we know that banks are filing for bankruptcy. We have the Wall Street Journal is talking about the, the the stock market going up and down, blah, 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 blah. But in all of this, how do you actually survive? Okay, your geography, your immediate geography, your, your uh, remote geography. Talk to me about that. Let me give you a bonus here that you need to think about. Now, one thing you need to really have, keep in mind here is that sometimes there are two things you need to do if you're looking for a business loan for your startup with poor credit. Maybe you might need to lower your expectations. Let's say you wanna you wanna borrow fifty thousand dollars, but you realize that there are no lenders right now in the in the market willing to give you that money. Then instead of uh, getting the fifty thousand dollars, maybe bring it bring it down your uh, your fund needs to. 10 grand or 15 grand and try to look for other lenders okay now you might want to tap into your, your friends and family network i know they're not typically lenders but again cash is cash okay cash is cash so if you have a a, a large network in terms of uh in terms of uh, financial ability and your friends and family can actually finance you why not i mean why not give it a try i mean their apr will be lower anyway i mean you know them the only problem here is that when you borrow from friends or family you just have to make sure you, you pay them back because if you default you know there goes uh, the whole relationship anyway and you don't want you don't want that okay and uh, you can also tap into your own retirement funds again if you lower the amount you can start thinking about ways to actually get the funds yourself you can tap into your IRA or 401k, okay, or you can roll funds into a Robs account when, uh, you know, the thing is you can use the funds from the Robs account to fund the business. So one thing you need to understand here is that the, the options I'm giving you when it comes to retirement funds, I will not, I will not recommend those. But hey, listen, if you're desperate for cash and you just have this crazy, wonderful idea that you want to implement, maybe you, can, you should give it a try. But this is not something that our, our team recommends at all because because they are risky okay so you should not consider them without first getting professional advice to determine the potential tax implications okay and also think about personal loans you can use personal loans to actually uh, fund your startup why not i mean you know maybe uh, what i'm talking about poor credit maybe your poor credit is uh, at the business level for example because you you started maybe eight months ago or 12 months ago and uh, you just didn't hit it off on the right note but if you happen to have somebody like your your spouse or somebody in your family who can vouch for you who can co-sign a, a loan for you this could be also a possibility so what i'm trying to say here is that i want you to explore several several alternatives here to make sure that you are making the right choices okay and you can even try to have a small business grants you know like sometimes you you know i mean grants are harder to get and they are lengthier the process is lengthier but hey listen if you have patience if you're not looking for a loan right away if you're looking like if you're looking for funding let's say three months from now six months from now then you might want to explore the um the 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 whole thing about the, the small business grants okay Let me, let me give you some steps here in terms of how to find, how to actually choose the right financing option for your startup. Again, we are talking about business loans for startups with poor credit. How do you actually get the funds real quick? You need to understand that to qualify for a startup business loan, you need to think about three things. So first, first things first, think about whether or not you are properly established. Okay. You, you got to really be clear about that. Are you properly established? So I'm talking about you making sure you have everything in terms of uh, your EIN, in terms of your incorporation or organizations, like things like uh, ALC, ALP, LP, uh, S Corp, 
C Corp. So those are things, those are the basics, right? You want to get the paperwork from the state. You have your articles of incorporation, your articles of organization. This is the first thing you want to have. The second thing you need to have is you need to have a business bank account. So you got to have everything that really uh, legitimize your business that says that, okay, you got to have a business address, business, uh, business, uh, phone number. Everything must be, must be business related. Okay. And if, if needed, you can try to get like a business credit card too. It can be secured. Okay, the bottom line is you want you want to divorce your personal affairs from your business affairs. Okay, this will help you in the long run, not just from a tax perspective, but also from a an operational analysis perspective. So you are able to differentiate what was really working, and you can really have peace of mind better that way. And the third thing I, I want to say here is you need to have. Uh, those documents that give you the foundation, the analytical foundation for a future success in your business. And those are stuff like uh, business plan, documents like financial projections. Okay, because those two documents, for example, and th there are others though, I just wanted to focus on those two. The, those two will actually provide the operational fulcrum, the analytical fulcrum, the analytical uh, the, the backbone for your analysis, the, for your uh, for your future, for your vision. Okay, the analytical backbone for your vision, for your mission, because the lender will see that you are organized, that you know that you're going far. The lender will understand that. Hey, listen, this this uh, borrower knows where what it's it's actually what they are trying to get. And in the business plan, you're talking about you're talking about how long you have in an operation, your location, your industry, your projected annual revenue. So this kind of granularity, this kind of details is just fantastic and will help you in the long run get approved for a business loan with poor credit. Let me close to this conversation by talking to you. I want to give you the decision that you need to make here. When should you, what to consider when applying for a startup business loan with bad credit, okay? And you need to really think about a couple of things. You need to understand when we talk about a startup business loan with bad credit, you have a couple of situations here. First of all, we're talking about bad credit at the personal level. and But you got to think about what kind of credit you have at the business level, if any. Okay, because if you are a startup, as I said, a startup can be a business that has been uh, in operation for less than 12 months. So if you have been in operation for 11 months, you are still technically a startup. So, but, but by, by that time, chances are you would have had establish some kind of business credit and if you do that means that you you have a PDX score you have a, an Intelli score plus so the, the question is do you have a poor credit score also when it comes to PDX because PDX anything less than 80 is considered a poor and above that excellent 80 is just like the average so you got to think about that that's, that, that's the first thing you also got to think about whether or not you need the funds real quick okay and the, the third thing is do you have a uh, maybe collateral to pledge in case you need to pledge collateral because some business loans will ask you for or some business loan will, will ask that your startup collateralize the loan okay that's the condition that's the only condition uh, upon which the lender will release will actually release funds so if you are in such a situation you got to ask yourself if you have the right assets to collateralize the loan right so those are questions i really want you to have and uh but while you're doing it also try to uh, think about building business credit okay because if you have poor credit on the personal side try to beef up your business credit score this should be an ongoing uh, initiative of yours so that you are constantly trying to look for things like net 30 vendors you're looking for a business line of business lines of credit you're looking for business credit cards all of those uh, elements will help you build the business credit just make sure that the issuer or the lender is actually reporting your transactional activities to the business to the three major business credit bureaus okay and uh so when we talk about the three majors we are speaking about experience experience business we're speaking about equifax business and we're speaking about down and bradstreet and if you're lucky maybe the the issuer will also actually report your transactional information to uh sbfe small business financial exchange okay the bottom line is you want your your uh, your data to be reported to the appropriate business credit bureaus the business credit bureaus so you can get the uh, proper credit literally okay for your great deeds for your great behavior for your great routine when it comes to business credit
Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just sharing with you a few hacks that we have learned here and there in terms of uh, business loans for startups with poor credit. So I give you the overview. I give you a few pro tips. I give you the approach you need to follow. And we reviewed some of the things you need to review in terms of a uh, business uh, loan for a startup. And I also uh, give you a bonus in terms of uh, choosing the right, the right uh, type of loan. And I give you the step-by-step -step you need to follow here. And finally, I close this conversation with the the decision you need to take in you need to take into account when considering a business loan for your startup with poor credit thank you so much for your attention i really appreciate it god bless you i'll see you next time but until then remember stay marvelous